Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm right now sitting it right by Market Market and I've come all the way here to get myself a beep card. And what this allows me to do is use the public transportation that is dedicated to BGC. It's called the BGC bus. And uh, there are seven routes, I believe, that take you all around town and link other cities to BGC. And I'm going to try and use one of these BGC buses for the first time ever to go to Makati. The only place I know to get yourself one of these beep cards is to come right here. Just behind over there, if you go underneath that a bit shelter there, there's a little stand where you can buy one of these for 200 pesos. And it comes with 60 pesos load. The other 140 pesos of the 200 is for the card. But each ride is about 13 pesos, the same price as a normal ride that you pay for when you get on the gym. I've got myself the usual ice americano from Pick Up Coffee, but I didn't get it from Uptown. I actually got it from the brand new branch which is open this week here at Market Market. Pick Up Coffee is starting to spring up everywhere. Now there's a number of BGC bus stops all around town and uh, there's one right here, here at Market Market and I think I'm going to get on this one to save myself getting on the one at Uptown but usually if I were to go from Uptown to McCarty or even to Edsa then I could just get on right by my condo. But today we're getting on here and this is the scheduled route for the BGC bus. So there's the East Express which takes you from Edsa Ayala to Market Market only two stops. There's the North Express, which stops at a number of stops here, including Uptown Mall and Avida 34. There's the Central Route, which covers a number of places. There's a Arco Express Route and the West Route here. And then on Saturday and Sunday, there's the Special Weekend Route, which goes from Edsa Ayala all the way to Fort Victoria but it has a total of 17 stops. And there's also the North Express. The bus over there, which you see, is for the East Express, and it takes me to Makati, apparently. It says Edsa Isla, which kind of confuses me, but anyway. Now, all the BGC buses are of a Mercedes brand. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. But when the bus route is not operational, um, they actually park all these BGC buses right by the golf course next to the sandwich guy. Most of the bus routes here are operational from 5 a.m. all the way until 11 p.m. I have to tap here, okay. And just like that, 13 pesos was deducted from my beep card. I'm on is for the express route which only has two stops. When I get to Makati I wonder if I can catch a bus from there that will take me directly to Uptown. So when I was in Cebu I used to use one of these public transportation buses all the time to get from where I was staying in Fuente of Spain to like uh, the Cebu business park or the IT park and I remember I remember it was like the 17B that I would usually take, but uh, I'm glad to know there's something like this here in BGC too, because uh, it just makes traveling from city to city much more convenient. And look at the skyline right now. We're passing by the side of Esamora. Now, buses such as the 17B were pretty tiny and pretty compact. Um, they were really new and they were very nifty and swift. But the BGC buses are a lot bigger and so they can fit a lot more people. And the air conditioning here, like the ones in Cebu are great as well. The particular bus that I'm on seems a little bit older than the central route bus I saw earlier. But nonetheless, it's still in great shape and it's perfectly functional. Everybody's getting off. Is this the last station, Cheryl? Yeah. Please, okay. Yeah. Well, that was really quick. Very, very quick. Wait, I don't know where I'm going. Can you can you guide me? 
Bon Jibli! <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, this is Edsa, right? I was about to say that, yeah, this is Edsa. This is Edsa, yeah, I actually drove past here, or on this road. Um, it goes all the way to Cubao and further. Well, we're now gonna go over this overpass here, which is gonna connect us to Isla Mools. I don't think I've ever been inside Isla Mools. Isla Mools in Makati. Oh, then, and then go straight and then right. Cheryl, it was nice to meet you. Take care, have a good day. Bye-bye. So to get to Isla Mools, apparently you have to go straight down here and then take a right and I should be able to enter it. SM. Wow, we're in SM Isla. Wait, why is it SM? The ceiling on each of these floors seem to be really low. It's not usual for the ceilings to be this low in malls here in the Philippines. So I think we're leaving SM, the SM mall and going into Ayala. Ayala. Happy holidays. We're in Ayala malls now, yeah? Glorieta. So we're now in Glorieta, I believe. And there's directions over there telling me if you carry on going straight, you can actually get to the Greenbelt malls. This is all rather new to me. Just in case you weren't satisfied with the amount of malls in BGC, you can hop on a BGC bus and get here within 10 to 15 minutes where there's plenty more malls to shop at. Oh, massage chairs. Yeah. These massage chairs look like exactly the same as the ones in um, Thailand when I was in Central Westgate. They've got the arm pads there, the shoulder pads here, the legs. I think we've come to the mall's atrium and it's a very big open space with quite a few paintings on display. Okay, so having spoken to someone, they tell me you can actually get from Isla Moors to Landmark. And then from there, you can cross through Landmark and go over the elevated walkway to get to Greenbelt Mall. And I believe that elevated walkway is the one that runs directly over Isla Avenue. No, okay, never mind. One, two, three. What's 25? 25. Starbucks. Starbucks. Do you see? Do you see Starbucks? <laughs> Are you willing to stay for 45 minutes? 45 minutes? To do what? Reservation. Because we're giving free medical insurance. Time is scarce. Oh, so, uh, I'll, I'll see you later. like this. Walk in? Okay, all right. Take care, Aji. Bye-bye. I feel like I'm doing something similar to what I did in Bangkok, which was the shopping mile, which I featured a couple videos back. Um, this, this is almost something very similar, the way everything is interconnected. I didn't know it was this well interconnected either. This is my first time being here at the Landmark and it's a pretty open style floor here. But I'm looking for the elevated walkway to cross over to Greenbelt and I think I've just stumbled across it. I think it's that over there. There we have it folks, mission success. We started off in BGC. I could have actually started this video in Uptown and gotten all the way here, directly where I am, above Ayala Avenue for only 13 pesos. And I swear, the whole journey from BGC to Makati has been so smooth, really smooth. Couldn't have asked for a better experience from a public transportation system. And I'm not even exaggerating here. And I reckon a lot of people who live in BGC or in Makati don't know about the BGC bus. I didn't know about it up until today where I actually tried it out for the first time. It almost feels as though now Makati is literally at my doorstep. It just feels really close now. Whereas before it used to feel really far having to wait for a grab taxi or to get a joy ride. Have them here. No, 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 no. They, I was about to comment. They only have um, bicycles and the movers, right? right? But they don't have these scooters. They're very stupid. Wow. Yeah. So it's only in BGC where you can get on the electric scooters yeah. from mover. It's like, here it's only bicycles. You should buy your own already. How much do you spend every time? I spend a lot on these movers. I'm not gonna lie. But uh, <laughs> the thing is, I like the convenience of being able to park it there yeah, and not exactly. having to worry. You don't have to worry about exactly. Uh, yeah. And I'm not walking around on more with a scooter. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's why I kind of like use the surf. Well, okay, Lisa. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. See you. Take care. Bye bye. The only thing is, though, 
If I now want to get back to BGC from Greenbelt, I'm going to have to go back through the landmark, cross into SM Isla, cross over Edsa, and then get to the bus station over there. It would have been amazing if there was a dedicated bus stop here that the BGC bus could pick you up from and take you back. But anyway, maybe they can add that in the future. So it looks like where I got off when I came to Makati is the same location that I need to come to to catch the bus back to BGC. Thank you. Okay, I've made it to Uptown. This is it. Just like that, we're back in BGC. I mean, it wasn't that straightforward because uh, there was a lot of traffic on the way back here. I think the ride time took about 30 to 40 minutes to get from A to B. But I'm on a non-busy day or when it's non, not rush hour, as earlier when I went to Makati. It takes around about 10 to 15 minutes. But overall, that service is brilliant and I'll be using it a lot more now that I know of it and I know how to use it. Okay folks, while I wait for my pickup coffee to be prepared, I'm going to wrap up today's video here where I usually start my videos. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video of the BGC bus ride tour, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share it with friends and family. And I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.